If you show me your six pack, I will show you my muscles. Welcome back everyone. Obviously, I was not talking about the gym, but a delicious seafood dish. Mussels à la marinière. A delicious dish that originated from north of France as well as Belgium. And we're gonna accompany it with a beer, obviously, but also some delicious fries and a lemon mayonnaise. What to know about that dish? It's very popular in all the brasserie in France, but realistically, it is everywhere now. And it's such a simple dish and very cost effective. So two things remain to be done for us to get cooking and for you to subscribe. Let's go. All right, so first we're gonna start with the fries. And I've already shown you before how to make fries, so you can check out this other video that I'm going to tag, but I will give you a quick explanation. First, we're gonna peel them, then wash them, and we're gonna cut them to size. As I mentioned before, fries, the beauty about it is you can cut them to whichever size you want. So this time I got some long potato, so I'm gonna do some long fries. Once I've detailed my little baby fries, I'm gonna rinse them, give them, you know, get rid of all that starch. And we're gonna place them in some clear water with some salt and we'll bring them to a boil and that's the step we call blanching. Once they've come to a boil, we're gonna take them out of the water and I'm gonna place them onto a tray with a bit of absorbing paper or whatever you have at home. The idea is to cool them down at room temperature so they start to fluff up. The second step, I'm gonna put them into an oil at 275 degrees for about three to four minutes. I will then remove them without dropping them, let them cool down again. Then for the final steps, we're gonna drop them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit until they are golden brown. We will then season them right away and just like so, you have some beautiful home fries. I mean, some fries that you made at home. On my last episode, I'll show you how to make eggs 21 ways. Well, here's the 22nd way the mayonnaise and we're going to make a lemon mayonnaise. We're gonna start by split an egg yolk from its white and we're gonna add a bit of Dijon mustard to the bowl with the egg yolk. I will then add a bit of vinegar and we're gonna start whisking that until it's completely smooth. I'm also gonna add a bit of seasoning with salt and pepper. I will then emulsify with the oil. I'm using some canola oil, but you can use whichever oil of choice until it is completely combined, as you see. Then I will add a little bit of lemon zest and I will add some seasoning with salt and pepper if need be. The only way to know if you need some is to try it, which is what I'm going to do next. And let me tell you, I love mayonnaise so much, especially when it's that tasty, okay? Then we'll put it into the ramekin to the side because now we need to work on our delicious muscle. The thing with mussels is they might be a little bit dirty. So the first thing we need to do is to clean them. They have something that we call the beard. It's like something that's gonna hang out to the side like you see. So all you wanna do is kind of like push the muscle, scrape it and remove that beard. We're gonna repeat the process with every single one of the muscle. Nobody wants to eat a beard and muscle. Once you've done so, we're gonna take them to the sink and we're gonna start cleaning them. That step is very important because obviously they come from the ocean, so they will be dirty. So you wanna clean them about three to four times or until the water is completely clear, just like so. Look at them beauties. Once we're done with that, we're gonna start with the garnish, which is realistically one onion, one shallot, and some garlic. I will start by peeling my onions, splitting it in half, and then I'm gonna to start to cut it into a small mirepoix. We don't have to be super precise in this case because we're going to cook all of that and I still wanna actually have a bite into my garnishes. We'll repeat the process with the shallots and then we'll use the garlic. For the garlic, you know, you don't have to actually cut it. What I like to do is just to smash it, peel it, and I'm gonna actually leave it whole. I mean, you can also cut it, it's really up to you, but I like to see where my garlic's at, okay? Next, we're gonna start working on the parsley, some beautiful parsley. And then what I want you to do is to use the entire thing. So we're gonna roll it over itself very nice and tightly. And then we're gonna start cutting it into a chiffonade. Once again, it doesn't have to be super, super precise, but just make sure it's regular. That's the most important part of this. Regularity over size. And now that we have all our products, we're gonna be able to start cooking it. So we have a garnish, our mussels, 
some butter, and some wine. And actually, it's called Louis because that's the name of my dad in the day I filmed. It was his birthday. So, yes, I had to do a little homage. And then some salt and pepper. We're going to start by adding the butter into the wok. Then I will add my garnish and sweat it out. Add a bit of rosemary, season those onions, and then I'm going to add the mussels. And right away, I'm going to give it a little bit of a shake, and we're going to cover it, okay? Because we want to steam those mussels. After about a minute, uh, we are going to add some wine, okay? So we're gonna give it one more little shake. We're gonna stir them and add our delicious white wine. Then we're gonna cook it again for another minute or two, and we wanna make sure they are opening, right? So you can see they're not actually open, so we're gonna close the lid one more time, and look at this. Now they're fully open, they are perfect, we can serve them. So I'm going to add my herbs, as well as a lemon juice, and if need be, some salt and pepper. Then we're gonna give that a shake, and Last step is just to serve it. So all I'm gonna do is take my wok over and I'm gonna make sure I have all this muscle into my bowl. And you wanna make sure that you have a lot of that juice. That juice is delicious. And if you're allowed to eat bread, you definitely wanna dunk that bread into that sauce. And you can just thank me later, okay? And here we have some delicious mussels with fries and some lemon mayonnaise. Moule à la marinière. Appreciate it in the north of France, but realistically, all over the world. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And you already know, the recipe will be in the description below. So what is next? I'm gonna have to try this. So if you allow me, I will, and I will catch you on the next episode.